Hello, collective. Welcome to the soulmate check-in. This is for all signs. Whoever finds it, it's for you, okay? We take a look at the energy between you and a soulmate. It does not have to be a romantic soulmate. It can be a friend, a family member, a co- excuse me, a co-worker, anyone you have a soul tie with, okay? We're looking at what's in the energy for you guys, what may come up, what may appear, all right? Um, if this resonates with you, like the video, comment down below, subscribe, leave your feedback. I appreciate it greatly and it really helps others discover my channel, okay? Um, also, if you guys are on TikTok, feel free to head over there and follow me. My social media links are listed um, in the description of this video, but I've been going live there and doing mini reads. It's been a lot of fun, so come check that out, okay? Now, as I give that speech that it may not be a romantic soulmate. For a lot of you, it may be though, okay? Because the Ten of Cups is in the reverse at the bottom. The Ten of Pentacles is underneath that. And the Fool, holy crap, and the Tower. I can't even keep going this deep. Look, these are all major arcanas underneath the deck. Underneath the Ten of Cups in the reverse, I should say. So yes, something may not be coming together. A marriage, a relationship, you could be having a falling out with a parent, somebody, a family dynamic type of a thing, okay? But your idea of happiness is absolutely shifting, okay? At the core, at the foundation, and it's divinely guided. That was important for me to see, okay? Something about you have options. You have to remember that you have options. Now, for your energy, the collective, we're showing up in the star in the reverse, okay? Aquarius energy here. We are possibly doubting if we should stay in this connection anymore, doubting if this person is good for us, is good for our future, if this is something we can trust, something we can rely on, okay? Um, Spirit is also saying for a lot of us, we may be missing the bigger picture here. Like, if we're feeling stuck, okay? or if something is in separation or in conflict, right? That may be very frustrating where it's just making us want to walk away from it, leave it behind. But Spirit is saying you need to look under at this and understand why it played out the way it did, okay? For your person's energy is the Page of Cups in the reverse. So they're holding back, okay? Either rejecting a love offer or not coming towards you, not communicating, refusing to apologize if there was some type of conflict, okay? Um, we're going to look more deeper into this energy in a second. Cancer Scorpio Pisces for them, okay? But they're like really, really, really numbing out their emotions, okay? They don't want to feel this. Um, they're not giving anything here. And then the overall energy of the connection between you guys is the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Like nobody's putting anything into this for this to grow. Nobody's trying, okay? So let's see. Page of Wands. It's interesting because... Even though nobody's trying, it feels like that's what's right. Like, I'm supposed to kind of take a break from this. I mean, you guys are showing up with that in the star in the reverse, okay? Yeah, I can't wait around anymore. I can't pause my life, almost, or stall my life for this person. Waiting for them to apologize or to get it. <laughs> um, let's clarify your star energy and see what's going on here, guys, okay? I want to try to keep this as, like, simple as possible, today for this little check-in. I don't want to overcomplicate it. There's a lot going on with the energy. We're just coming out of that Libra full moon, which was meant to restore balance, right? Okay, so the first thing that's coming out is the three of cups in the reverse, clarifying the star in the reverse. So you may feel like your person is giving to something else, okay? Um, another person, perhaps, if it's a romantic type thing. Um, if it's like a friendship, like they're hanging out with other friends, or you guys just don't there's something about you that you don't trust. It doesn't feel stable. This could also be you trying to distract yourself, right? Remember how I was talking about you need to understand why things have played out the way they have. There's, an, there's a deep impact that needs time to be reflected on, right? Understood and understood, okay? You may be distracting yourself from that. Two of Wands, the Four of Wands in the reverse. There's no stability here. The divine is saying it is safe to understand this now. Like there's, again, no more waiting around, okay? Three of Wands at the bottom. Don't distract yourself, okay, guys? That's really important. If something isn't flowing, if it's not working, okay, take that for what it is, all right? 
let's clarify your person's energy the page of cups in the reverse why are they carrying this energy i feel like they're mad or hurt or just like detached you know four of cups in the reverse well isn't that interesting seven of cups and the magician okay they're going down a different path they may be pursuing another person again um this could be their destructive energy right you feel like there's nothing left for you that this isn't meant for you because you whether you know it in the 3d you know intuitively their energy is not with you right now you feel the withdrawal the abandonment and it feels very personal i have to acknowledge that right like there's something about it where you're taking it very personally that this person isn't communicating with you or making it right opening up that pathway okay because the four of cups in the reverse and the seven of cups to me the magician that's saying this person is creating their own fucking you know misery almost is how it comes in i don't know if they're miserable but that's what i'm reading okay where it's like they're choosing to put you on the back burner right silence your notifications leave you um ignored not apologize for something that went wrong okay it's like there's this heaviness in the energy but it's not like they're just withdrawing from life their energy is going somewhere i'm gonna try to find out where two of cups in the reverse at the bottom of the deck i just saw that yeah this might be maybe i should just start calling these intimate <laughs> tarot readings just do one every week i feel like they always are look at that the hierophant in the reverse yeah this person is running from commitment. Something about acknowledging what went wrong here or what's out of alignment. Or maybe, again, if for some reason, I feel like this could be an apology. The Page of Cups. I feel like that might be the energy. This person owes an apology. or It's like they should be the one to do the contacting to open up that door. They're like, no, I'm not. Yeah, King of Cups in the reverse. I feel like I can't handle it, right? Your person just doesn't know how to handle these emotions. Yeah, there's just no commitment. There's no willing to work together here. It's like every day this person like wakes up and it's like, okay, well, I'm just going to get through the day here. There's no plan. There's no like, because the Hierophant needs things to be taken slowly, seriously, do things step by step. The hangman in the reverse. Hmm. Tell me about this nine of cups in the reverse as the overall energy of this connection. Okay. Needs to transform completely. Okay. Whether you hear from this person or not again, right? It all revolves around something transforming. Nine of pentacles in the reverse, the ace of wands in the reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Pentacles. Listen, there's no question here. The Divine has made it very obvious. This person's actions have made it very, very obvious here. Okay, they are withdrawn. They may be trying to pursue a different relationship or they just don't want to be tied down to commitment in general. They don't want a relationship with anyone in general. Okay, they're blocking that. It's free will that they're doing that. Okay, they're rushing things. There's, They're not taking their time to... Um, build anything stable okay your advice here is to stop giving this so much time and patience okay it's time to race towards your own stability it's really important that you change what you're focusing on okay spirit is making that known i don't know why i haven't done like an astrology check-in what's going on i know we're about to come into some retrogrades we're just coming out of the full moon and stuff but maybe there's something magical in the air because it's like, be careful what you wish for because you can get it. You're being encouraged to watch your thoughts. Your focus on the block of this or the loss of this or what this person is or is not doing is taking you away from yourself and everything you're trying to build, okay? The King of Pentacles needs no one else to build their empire. I can assure you of that. And that's what's about to transform. Hmm. Okay, let me switch decks here, actually. I want to pull some more cards on your energy collective because you guys are the ones watching tarot readings, right? Trying to decide what should I do. Follow your heart, follow your soul. You're being guided to call, uh, to do something. How funny is that? Page of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck, which is your person's energy. 
Hmm. So remember when you guys, oh, you don't remember because it was on the reading I tried to pull for you, but then I had to stop. I tried to pull this reading before. It was strength in reverse and it just came back, okay? There is some type of trigger where it's like, if I let this go, even if you guys are so pissed at this person, you're like, I don't care. I don't want them anymore. I know it's not for me. I'm doing my thing. I'm moving on, right? And we detach from them. We block them. Tell them to fuck off, whatever, okay? There's still like this energetic attachment that's showing up for you, okay? And it's actually showing up as being very comforting for you okay like it's like if i still if i'm angry though right or if i'm annoyed or if i can wish revenge or bad karma on this person like that actually still keeps you attached and doesn't um it keeps your head still turned right and you're not looking forward towards your own future i don't even think you guys realize that because it's like you guys go right you feel drawn okay and i think this is the shadow work because it's showing up like you feel drawn to your person Okay, but underneath that is the king of wands in the reverse. It's like false alarm. What you think is intuition is actually um, an inner wound of some sort. My guess, okay, from the energy and from my own inner work, abandonment, attachment, okay. Um, hmm, lots of fears. I mean, the strength in reverse talks about a lot, right? It can go back to trauma, okay emotional coping that we never learn things like that ten of swords yep this runs deeper than this connection this is a pattern and that's why it's feeding into this okay what else please spirit let me get some divine perspective on this Okay, I want to see, so I see what the 3D sees, I want to see what the 5D sees, really quick. Too much. Truth is being spoken, okay? You're embracing truth, that is so, so important. That also might be part of your lesson, where it gets you to use your voice, especially if you've been very passive in the past. The truth needs to come out. The truth will set you free. All right, let's get some divine perspective on this. I just want to compare. So you feel lost, the star in the reverse. The, <laughs> the divine sees you as finding your path, okay? As moving on, as letting something go. So yeah, it feels devastating to lose this, but the divine is like, finally, right? Doorway opened, right? Green light. Mm-hmm, yeah. I mean, the divine is going your person shame shame they are not in reality okay they're doing anything to distract themselves and it's so interesting because remember when i pulled the energy of the connection what did it show up as the nine of cups in the reverse and it's pulling as a six of wands okay so even though this feels so gross and icky the divine is very pleased Okay, with what's coming from this because you are being sent to your right path and your person, I mean, they're being put on their path, right? They might just have to repeat a cycle about it. Yeah, page of wands in the reverse. There it is. What you thought was intuition was an inner wound. When you heal that, you'll stop being misguided. You'll stop calling, you know, karmic debt destiny i mean it is destiny but you know what i'm saying like painting it as like the ten of cups happily ever after again there's something about needing to be grounded in reality on both sides okay look what we're back at judgment <laughs> yeah we are having that meeting with the divine understanding why we have been through the hardship why we've been through this devastating loss it's i can't get devastating loss out of my mind right now where is the collective heading tell me about this eight of wands we're moving that is fast energy collective babies okay we are moving on moving on moving on <laughs> yep 
<laughs> page of cups in the reverse the empress in the reverse we realize it was attachment okay we were trauma bonding we were doing something there check out my shadow work video of the empress it's in my timeless playlist i'll try to remember to link it but probably not i'm recording this um early okay but if i don't it's in my timeless playlist okay um we can spy on your person yeah your person's definitely trying to take a leap of faith to a new beginning but it's gonna get blocked it could be in a different relationship what if i just did like intimate tarot like once a week that's what i'm thinking instead of the soulmate thing because i really do try to keep it open where it doesn't have to be but i think that the collective energy it just is we learn from our soulmates so deeply so maybe i'll start doing intimate tarot once a week anyway yeah this person's gonna try to work together and offer their heart to somebody else that's being really clear okay but wisdom is knowledge and we get to see the fact that it ain't gonna go so smooth <laughs> they have to replay something you guys are meant to deal with a trigger right I kind of get this situation where it's like two people are really, really hurting and have broken hearts. And it's like, as always, right? One party chooses to heal. One party tries to heal through another relationship until they become the party that chooses to heal. <laughs> Five of Pentacles. Yeah, the sun in the reverse, the devil in the reverse. Exactly what I was just telling you guys. There is going to be success here. It's not how you thought it would be probably not with this person not in the short term anyway okay there is an element of sadness when i say sadness i'm talking about five of pentacles and the sun in the reverse okay deep pain like um ego it's deeper than ego death man i'm not kidding it's like dark night of the soul right but look why look what you're doing you are truly shedding that darkness okay everything that's been holding your back tell me about the devil in the reverse what is this holy shit i just got chills trying to make this work listen this connection was absolutely meant to teach you something okay remember it is still destiny even if you don't work out happily ever after doesn't make the connection any less divine the emperor the empress some of you may be learning how to balance your masculine and feminine energy taking it with you and going wow you are letting go of thinking that you need another person to sit in that energy for you you're discovering that you're able to provide that for yourself that is empowering all i get there is empowering also, another message could be the second you close this situation out, you guys are going to meet the love of your life. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The Emperor and Empress and Six of Swords moving on to a connection that is worthy, right? That's really how I'm reading that, you guys. Like, yes, you may be showing up in your masculine and feminine energy right now, balancing those out, but you're moving towards something very divine. The Six of Swords, we're moving towards it. We're moving towards it. This is what the goal is. This is what you're going to get. So your only job is discovering what does worthy mean for you, okay? What is it that you need to feel fulfilled? What do you deserve? What is it that you require? What is it that you wish this person, right, could have gave you? What was it that was missing? All of that should be pretty clear by now, okay? For the third time, judgment. Guys, I highly suggest you go read about this card, okay? I don't even know if I can explain how critical and how, like, vital it is for you to go through this, for you to leave the bullshit behind and understand this all had meaning, this all had perfect purpose five of wands in the reverse leave that 3d shit behind the conflict the drama the anger the resentment the hate the fighting right toxic love thinking that's what that is it, that's over no you deserve purity you deserve respect you deserve patience and empathy and compassion everything that this empress card was trying to give and was blocked from giving in this path holy cannoli 
Guys, I know that's a little short, but that's a lot and it's beautiful, okay? I want to end that there. If you need a personal, hit me up. My email's in the description box. I do live one-on-ones. I also do recorded readings just like this uh, privately, and I do email readings, 20 bucks a question. So hit me up, like the video, comment down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!